Langchain has been a general purpose framework for developing applications powered by large language models that are context aware and so can reason and make sequential decisions. One of the major drawbacks of Langchain is that agents is just a module in Langchain. Even though there are different packages like the zero shot React, structured input React, Langchain still falls under the single agent paradigm where all the actions are defined within the agent. So there's no room for multi-agent paradigm where agents converse and collaborate among each other. This is the exact problem that is addressed by Autogen. Autogen is the latest framework from Microsoft that enables multi-agent conversations and seamlessly allows human interaction in these conversations. You may ask what an agent is in the first place. An agent is an AI system that can exhibit capabilities such as conducting conversations, completing tasks, reasoning, and can demonstrate some degree of autonomous behavior. It does so by taking a sequence of actions. Now with that in mind, a promising future direction for LLMs could be not just acting as a single agent, but also to be used in applications where we have multiple agents working together to solve complex problems. For example, one agent could be an expert in writing Python code, and another agent could be an expert in conversing with the user in a polite and diplomatic way, and it may also have access to Python shell so that it can execute the code generated by the assistive agent. These two agents could internally have conversations to address the user's queries. For example, let's say the user is asking the AI system to plot the share prices of Tesla and Meta. The user first interacts with the user proxy agent. User proxy because it is, it's a proxy for the user because the user is not directly interacting with the assistant agent. The assistant agent in turn executes the Python code, which is an expert in writing Python code, and sends back the code to the user proxy agent. And the user proxy agent communicates back to assistant agent saying that there's an error in the package as it's not installed. And finally, the assistive agent says, install the package Y finance and then execute the code. So the user proxy agent then executes the uh, pip install command and finally produces plot of the Meta and Tesla stock prices and then gives as the output to the user. Developing such multi-agent systems involves two steps. One is to define a set of agents with specialities or special capabilities and roles. In the previous example, it was defining an agent specialized in coding task and another agent specialized in handling user queries. Then there's a need to define interactions or communications between these agents. And it's about what the agent should respond. Should it send a response in a JSON format or a natural language format? Here's a slightly more sophisticated example designed for code-based question answering. So there are three agents here. One is the commander, the other one is the writer, and the next one is the safeguard agent. So the user enters the question, and the question goes to the uh, writer agent, which generates the Python code, and then it sends it back to the commander, which has the capability to execute the Python shell. The code does not get directly executed, but goes to the safeguard agent, which in turn sends back the clearance for the code to be executed. And it gets logged as a step six, and finally, the result of execution is sent back to the user. So this is a slightly more sophisticated example where there are three agents instead of two. 
In terms of implementation, the framework provides with a responsive agent class that can be configured to either use LLMs, interact with humans, or use tools like Python Shell. The assistant agent and user proxy agent are two pre-configured versions of the responsive agent. And as the name suggests, the assistant agent is supposed to act like a AI assistant and the user proxy agent is supposed to act as a proxy for the human user. We can indeed come up with our own configurations with many more uh, agents configured in different ways. But how on earth do these agents communicate with each other? The good news is that the hassle of communication is all managed by Autogen, by what is called auto reply mechanism. All that we have to do is register auto reply between two agents, say A and B as a first step. And in the next step, we have to initiate the chat and Autogen takes care of rest of the communication. If at all, the process involves a third agent, say C, we can register a custom function which invokes a conversation with C. In this case, C validates the JSON response that is sent back from the system. Now, if the direction of conversation cannot be predetermined, we need dynamic conversation between agents. For example, a dynamic group chat where the group chat manager decides which agent gets to speak next and which message needs to be broadcast for all the agents to receive the same message. So another application could be having a challenging math problem where that can be an expert agent for the AI assistant to consult. And there can also be agents that can do retrieval from a database and the possibilities are endless depending on your production needs and customer requirements. So there's also a link for the examples in the technical report, which walks us through the different use cases and different examples. There's also a quick start page, which shows concisely in five lines of code, how you can configure an interface endpoint along with the assistant agent and user proxy agent, and simply initiate a chat to get them working together as multiple agent system. To me, it sounds quite futuristic and the possibilities are endless. So will the AI field grow in the direction of multiple agents and the need for coordination and communication between them? We really have to wait and see to find out how extensively this framework will get used in the future. But it's definitely something to start exploring and start learning. So I will leave it there and wait for that it all leads us. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care.